been a debate recently about which is a better way to change the world, to make the world a better place, to, to help our planet survive us. And that is, should we be conservationists or should we be environmentalists? So I was kind of curious, what is the difference? What is this difference between these two camps, conservation and environmentalism? First off, conservation tends to be area specific. So environmentalism, where it takes the entire globe, a conservationist looks at a single park, a single wetland, a single animal species, or a single forest. It tends to be very niche dependent. So is that a problem? No, because the more people that care about a specific space and want to conserve a certain space, a certain species, a certain group of animals, a certain group of plants, the more people will actually be emboldened to do things. This is cool. Another example of conservationism that is often overlooked is the hunter in America. Yes, they go out and they take another animal's life. It's not always black and white when it comes to conservationism. But there's certain diseases that affect deer herds. There's certain diseases that affect places that are experiencing overpopulation. I believe that a hunter that goes out and thins a herd while consuming the meat is a really good example of a great conservationist. Now, an example of a hunter that is not a conservationist is a trophy hunter, somebody that just goes out to get the mount and nothing more. These are your big game hunters that you see parading all over social media, going out and like holding up their animal head and like posing with it. Be proud. You can be proud of going out and doing something. If you're not going to use the animal to feed you or your family or your community, then I think you've gone too far. And often trophy hunters hunt for apex species, things that aren't good for eating and are just there as a trophy on the wall. So my first experience with conservationists was your television shows. I remember waking up to watch the Jeff Corwin experience or when I was in high school, uh, Steve Irwin and the Crocodile Hunter came out well, the, the diaries came out, but these, these people really pushed me to like desire to go out and experience nature. And it's their example that actually made me excited about sharing nature with you. So from these TV people, I started to read the books of Jane Goodall. I started to look at naturalists and trying to hone my craft and be a better conservationist myself and it really helped impact the path that I took. So environmentalism, I, I mentioned before that environmentalism is all about the global scale. And it's great to care about the globe and you can get a lot of stuff done. Without the environmentalist movement, we wouldn't have the option of recycling. We wouldn't have this push to reuse. We wouldn't have the push to reduce. We wouldn't have these pushes to perfect renewable energy or or explore electric vehicles or figure out how to live in a society that is like in tune with the natural world. The biggest reason why environmentalism gets a bad rap is because you see a lot of people that like to point blame. They don't go out and do the work. It's been convoluted, right? You've got people that feel like they are at odds with capitalism. They're at odds with the establishment. And so you've got people acting out using these techniques that are really pushing for change. And unfortunately, the techniques sometimes go too far. So an environmentalist is often misconstrued as somebody who will push too far, push too hard against the establishment. These are the, the folks that are like Just Stop Oil in the UK that have been known to throw soup on oil paintings that have been known to walk down the main street, main thoroughfares at a very slow pace, forcing motorists to find different routes. There is a place for activism. There is a place for environmental activism. So when I look at environmentalists that are making a difference and making a real difference, I look at people like Greta Thunberg, who has 
through her activism, has curated books, has has gotten people to come together and talk, and has helped push the UN into making a committee to combat carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse gas emissions. It's people like her that should be giving environmentalists a good name. So which is better? It all depends on how you go about it. In my opinion, I lean more towards the conservationist side. I believe that if we can get people to actually care about the planet that we're on, if we could get people to actually go out and experience nature, if we could get people to care about a single animal enough to try to save that animal from exploitation, then we are moving in the right direction. But not all environmentalism is bad. Like I said, many great policies have come from environmentalism. And it all depends on where your comfort level is, what you want to do. I just urge you, if you're going to be an environmental activist, please take into account that there's other people in the world besides just you. And your view, although great, may not be the only solution to the problem. And it's all about opening up pathways of communication to make us come together and actually change the world.